you know exactly what you're going to do, the job career you're going to go after, and everything is all planned out. Great. Wait, nothing is planned out? You don't know what type of career you're going to want? You have no idea what you're going to do? It's okay if you don't have everything planned out down to the last internship. It's okay if you have no earthly idea what you're going to do. There are more people in the same position as you than you realize. And the good news, the Career Center is here to help every single one of you. We will work with you to develop a personalized career plan. A practice you can employ all year round is informational interviewing. During an informational interview, you, the interviewer, has the opportunity to ask questions of the interviewee, who could be a professor, a potential employer, a mentor, or an employee at the company you'd like to work for at some point in time. The purpose of an informational interview is to gain more information about a particular industry, company, or career path. Informational interviews should not be used to ask for internships or jobs. During your informational interview, be sure to ask the interviewee how he or she got to his or her current position. Pay close attention to the path they took, uh, the major they studied, and the experiences they sought out. You may find that they didn't take the most traditional path, and that's okay. At the end of the day, developing your career plan can be broken down into seven easy steps. Step one, start out with a personal assessment of your interests, likes, dislikes, strengths, and weaknesses. Think about the answers to these questions. What do you like to do? What do you enjoy doing? What activities do you not like? Step two, explore your areas of interest. Conduct research to see what career possibilities exist and match up with your interests. Are there majors best suited to help you pursue and achieve a job in one of those career possibilities? Step three, build a list of career possibilities and majors. Talk to people in both categories that can give you additional information. This could include professors, your career coordinator, and industry professionals. It's important to build a network early. Remember, these individuals will be key players in your network. Step four, seek out experiences to help you gain exposure to industries of interest. Be intentional. This applies to everything from the student organizations you decide to join to the externship and internship you complete. Step five, continually and constantly seek out ways to gain experience. Internships are crucial, as are the class projects and extracurricular activities, including the student chapters of professional organizations. Find ways to build your resume and support your level of knowledge in your area of interest. Step six, be active in the recruitment process and be aware of your options. Never close the door completely because the opportunity isn't right for you right then. Things change and so will you. Step seven, jump in and enjoy your career, but don't become complacent. It's important to seek out ways to learn more and gain experience to continually enhance your career.